All right, man, it's Apollo P here, Vibe 105. I call this Apollo for the people. I'm with Tavita and yes. Shane Hart. Yes. Uh, and uh, first off, I want to ask you, uh, what are you guys up to? Oh, what am I up to currently? I'm currently working on some music with Gladiator Records, the Reza Brothers. They're amazing. Um, I'm hoping to drop my EP in the early spring of 2017. They're amazing. I love them. Um, yeah. That's kind of, that's what I'm up to right now. So stay tuned. Okay. Now Shane Hart. Yes, I am kind of in the exact same boat. Um, I'm releasing some new music coming January. I've also been working with uh, the Reza Brothers, so uh, Gladiator Records. Um, going independently right now from my last label, but uh, it's, it's going good. So uh, probably around January 2017, releasing a new EP. Whoa! All right, so let's just get a little bit of background. Yeah. yeah. All right, so how'd you guys get involved with music and um, other things? Because you're heavily into television and stuff like that. Yes. So uh, first off, let's start with you, Trita. Yeah. So I started as a dancer. So that's kind of where my love for music originated from. Um, and then throughout high school, I trained um, as a dancer and got into acting, which I'm so thankful has given me the following that I have and taken me where I have gone. And and I've always, I've always wanted to make music. Um, and I finally had the opportunity to. And... The Reza Brothers are amazing, and they're they're bringing that out of me, and I, I can't wait to share it. So that's kind of where my love for music started with dance. What will you share? Um, for me, it, I kind of went down the acting route just to get my foot in the door musically. Uh, I mean, I always loved music, and, and music is where I wanted to go. I just it's it's really hard nowadays to kind of just pursue the music uh, side of things without um, you know doing the acting side or, or without trying to get another kind of medium in the mix so for me it was just to get my foot in the door and now I've kind of left the acting stuff behind and, and, and I'm just focusing on, on what I love to do which is which is music and it's so far it's been working out for me and uh, I just want to take it from there all right so um, how did you both you guys of uh, meet? Me. Yeah. Okay, so one of the, the show that I'm on, The Next Step, has a crossover show called Lost and Found that, Music yeah. Studios. So the shows kind of cross, and so that's where Shane and I met. Yeah. And literally, like, the first day we met, we bonded. He is my brother for life. Yeah. I love him. We laugh every time we're together, like, no tomorrow. So that's what brought us together, and I, I don't think that's we're ever going to be apart. No, <laughs> I, I don't think so either. I mean, it, it's kind of cool now that even though we aren't really a part of the next step, or, or lost and found at this point it, it it's still cool that we have this like relationship where you know we can still hang out and, and we even are working with the same people musically so yeah. we're still in the same circle of, of, of work and, and and friendship as well so it's still it's all working out so yeah, <laughs> yeah i like to see that because you know uh from my perspective the industry industry is kind of small oh, and it, sure. and then you don't know who really has the best intentions for you so it's always good to fee- uh, meet someone that um oh, yeah. has the best intentions we have for each you other's back. yeah all the time for sure well, do you guys go on like excursions or something we did go yeah, on tour we, together. we went on tour together oh, okay. which was really fun yeah. um we toured all of canada together mm-hmm. yeah and we did the uk all of the uk and, and together. spain and spain yeah. yeah oh my god yeah we did Spain. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get we're gonna like, just like you know unpack that a little bit. Yeah. And so how was Spain? This, how was that? Come from that was it was really different for me. I mean, I've never been to Europe other than going on tour, so it was. Really quick, but it was really fun all yeah. at the same time. We definitely tried our best to make the most out of being in a completely different yeah. country. I mean, it's it's amazing that we had the opportunity to be able to go and, and tour. Exactly. Like It wasn't even like it was just a vacation. Like We actually got to do what we loved. Like, do and, what we love and be on a stage, which I think was like the most inspiring part for us. It's like, oh my gosh, we're on a stage doing what we love. And there are people, like amazing fans, yeah. cheering for us. And, and I, that, that, was so, that was so amazing to be halfway across the world and see that... So for me, that was like a huge push to like keep going and to keep doing what I love. So I think that's my favorite part as an artist is the actual physically being there and actually being able to interact with people that listen to you. Because I mean, when you're when you're working and when you're in the studio, you don't really see it. Like obviously, you, you, we have social media nowadays where we get to see, um, you know, who we're listening to on on a intellectual, I guess, mm-hmm. level of things with technology and everything now. But it's it doesn't beat actually being physically there and i think that was something that i took away from Seeing their from faces that experience. light up is just amazing yeah <laughs> I mean, it's a privilege honestly yeah one one of my questions is like how were you able to like interact with that so, that language barrier there yeah yeah actually it was it was a little difficult but i mean once 
you know, performing, it kind of has a language of its own. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like music and dance in general is its own language. So there, there really is there is no fine line and and we 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 were able to kind of just communicate through our energies which was amazing so yeah i mean obviously you you know at some points when we were actually speaking it was a little bit you know we had to kind of yeah, use hand moments. signs or, or or you know so there were some moments where it definitely you know the sense of humor kind of went over their, their heads or or you know yeah. whatever but i mean it definitely it wasn't as hard as i thought it I was agree. going to be I yeah agree. yeah all right so one more thing yeah both you guys. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. So, um, what can people expect from you from the future going forward? Because yeah. I know you said you're working on music, right? Yes. And um, you guys got it coming on the way. Yes. I know, but you. Got, I know there's little steps to get to there. Of yes. course. You know. So, what can? How can people see those steps? And you know, uh, those little intricate steps that help go on to the bigger project. Okay. I think maybe I kind of just went off space, but no, no, really. I understand. I understand. For me. Uh, creatively the process is the most important and I I just I live in my head and I want to share the things that are in my head with people so if I can do that for the rest of my life I will be the happiest person and and I hope that through my music I can do that and I can tell stories and I can make a difference and and just just share yeah I mean I know I'm I'm very open about you know everything that's going on on the business and, and technical side of, of the industry because I feel like a lot of people don't they don't understand that so I, I am pretty personal on, on social media and I definitely show what I'm working on in, in the studio so it's it's cool like social media you you have the ability to show exactly what is happening in that moment like mm-hmm. you can literally just pull out your phone and take a video of something and post it on all of your social media outlets and people get to see how things you know come to be and i think a lot of my my fans so far have seen that because i've posted a lot of you know snapchats or or <laughs> even just instagram videos of, of the music that i'm doing in the studio and then you get the the comments like when are you releasing this or when when is that coming out so i think you know just following us on social media they can really get to know what we are doing you know and how we are getting to that and that almost, next like, step just, just see step by step yeah kind of like pretty much what you were saying i think both of us uh, we definitely reach out as much as we can on on the social media yeah. front because i definitely think nowadays I know both of us, like both of us voice our opinion oh for sure we're definitely not yeah. afraid. We're like, this is how we feel about this. So we're sharing because Sharon is Karen. <laughs> yeah, I, de- I definitely don't th- think a lot of, you know, a lot of the major artists share as much as, you know, the fans would like them to. I mean, it's kind of just like, here's an album, but they don't show how that happened. And I think exactly. for both of us, I think we really want to show that side of the artistry and that it's not just here it is. It's a lot of, of struggle and a lot of, you know, making sure that everything is is perfect so I think you know just being able to show that is the best part of showing what our next steps are I, I like that I like that the wolf you guys said those answers because I here's my retort right yeah. so with you being overexposed on social media and yeah. thing, don't you feel like there's some times that you just want to step back and just you know be yourself, be yourself I took a moment last year literally almost like just before 2016 I did an insta sweep and I, I took a break from Twitter and Facebook for a moment just to ground myself and and I I realized the the fine line between sharing and, and then sharing too much, right. you know. So so the way I treat my social media now has just kind of been this is what I'm up to, this is what I want to share with you. So I'm posting about it. If I'm posting about it, I'm posting it for a reason. Right. That's kind of how I look at it now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I definitely think as as good as social media is, it, I mean, you definitely have to you do have to draw that line between what is too personal mm-hmm. and, and what would benefit the art and what would benefit, um, you know, people seeing and, and putting the pieces of a puzzle together for the art that you are releasing as an artist. I mean, I wouldn't share too much about like my personal life mm-hmm. like on social media, but I definitely want people to know about, you know, how things came to be as, as where I am so at they this. So relate to it. Right, right. Yeah. So you want to be a transper- transparent as an artist, not right. too transparent as my personal or private. Right. That's I mean, like perfect. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure. Like, you definitely don't, you don't want to be, be a completely open book, right? Like you definitely want to leave some of your personality to, you know, imagination and, and, and be able to, you know, keep a personal part to yourself. And I think that's, that's definitely an important thing. You you do have to draw a line between what is too much and what you can post as an artist. I like to hear that, like to hear that a lot. <laughs> you guys go by your government names, right? 
Pardon? Government names. Oh, Tavita, I, Tavita, I have a really long last name. Super fun <laughs> fact. My whole name is Tavita Moniz Maria Chanel Simonovich Bramble. Thank you, mom and dad. So I just I know, go I by can't even Tavita. Say it. I can't, I can't no, even say No, he's tried it. so many times. I, I'm like cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. I, I still so, can't say it. I just go by Tavita. My Tavita. <laughs> yes, yeah, just Tavita. No, it sounds like just like definitely like yeah, Tavita. Yeah, it is. It's that's cool. It, it's kind me. of like the Madonna thing. Like it's like oh, just you. the one oh, just oh, like <laughs> um but for me my 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 n- real name is Shane Hart so I just you know at this point I've decided to go by that um, but I definitely think you know later on down the road when I'm kind of in like this transition period as an artist as well like just in terms of sound and, and, and everything like my writing process my approach to releasing music as an artist is changing so I'm definitely thinking about maybe using um, like an alias at, at one point and, um, but that is still obviously uh, very much up in the air and, and I think that's something that I would have to take a little bit more time to think about because I wouldn't just want to put out anything as, as just any random name right so I, I definitely want to put a little bit more thought into it but I do go by Shane Hart at this point Alright, three more questions I have yeah. No problem, no, no problem right. First off, how is it important to have a support system behind you to keep you ground, oh. keep you humble? We talk oh. about this. Yeah, actually. we do. We do talk it about It is this a lot. for me on a personally, it's it's the most important thing. Um, it's very it's very hard to do what we do yeah. to to want to put yourself out there is is very hard that act alone. So to have a support system behind you is 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 so important. And also, it's easy. It's very easy to when when things are going well and things are going good for you to get excited and that's that's important to have a support system as well so that they can ground you and keep you there so i i think that it's number one and and my mother and my family and my friends have been there for me since day one right. and will always be there and i i can't thank them enough and without them i don't think i would continue to do what i do you know because their opinion is the most important to me and and my own opinion really so the support is is needed 100 percent I think we both, you know, are very lucky to have, you know, parents or, or just people in our lives that actually do support what we do. Because I definitely, I have friends that are trying to go down the same route and don't have that support from parents or friends or just, and it's hard. Like that is, I think, one of the hardest things that you can go through as an artist is to not have someone that you can talk to about how hard it is or or the good things. Like when you don't have someone that supports what you do, it's like, it's it's hard to believe in yourself. It's it's world shattering, really. But I mean, I'm lucky enough that I have a family that really supports what I do, and they've been there through the highs and lows of, of it all. Because that's that's really what it is. I mean, I'm st- we're still both very early in, in our music careers, and I can't even imagine, you know, what it would be like on a bigger scale. So, the fact that I have a family that is with me through the highs and lows at this point, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't trade that. For the world, it is the. I think it is one of the most important things as an artist on any level, really. And it's crazy because we we have such a like loyal supporting already, and and like Shane said, like we're very. It's very early on in both of our careers, and and to have that support already is is so. It's such a privilege. Yeah. It is such a privilege, and I am so thankful for it. Yeah. And, and I hope, and I I, I I hope that it continues for the both of us. Yeah, so for sure. Yeah. Okay. And um. All right. So as artists. Yeah. I might be driving a little long. It's kind of cold. I know you guys are cold. Look, you're out there. It's okay. We're <laughs> okay. We're good. <laughs> All right. So as artists, right? What's the most difficult thing it is when you can, when it comes to um, creating music? Yeah. Like, what do you feel like that is? Okay, you want to take this first? I think for me, I I write so many bits and clips of things. It's for me. It's committing to a certain track that I think has potential and, and finishing it. I think a lot of people are able to like create bits and clips, but making a finished product is something that I think a lot of people struggle with. And I struggled with that for a really, really long time until I was actually, I hooked up with the Reza Brothers who helped me write a lot of this music that was on my EP. Like just having the support system of having people validate that your ideas are good. And I think that's something that you need as an artist is having people be like, yeah, like you should continue doing that. Um, and I, I definitely know a lot of people don't have that. So I think for me, it was actually finishing music for a while. I just recently got into doing my own production on a lot of my own music. So it, it's kind of been like an up and down ball game with, with, you know, trying to figure out what I really like 
sound wise and, and, and just finishing it for me anyway I mean I don't know about no, yeah. about you I know yes it's so funny I, I will never forget this story Shane has a song that is gonna come out soon that we when we were in Spain we were sitting at a table and he, something happened this woman walked by and he was like oh my god she reminds me of this person and he came back on the tour bus and started writing and it was just like it was so it was so nice to see and I remember you were like yeah I was so fascinated. Yeah. Well, I, I will say the story. She reminded me of Amy Winehouse. So this woman that I saw in, in Barcelona, I think it was, mm-hmm. she literally looked like spitting image of Amy Winehouse. So I, I just couldn't, I couldn't get that like out of my head. So I, I wrote a song about it. Yeah. And it's so cool to hear you talk about that because I, I know you were like writing about a bunch of ideas down. Yeah. But for me... I actually finished it though. <laughs> I know. And it's so good. It's so good. I can't wait for you to hear it. For me, it's it's more so been um, finding my sound. I love music, so I vibe with anything. And um, so it's very easy for me to kind of get off track. It's like, oh my God, let's do this. I'm going to spit on this track, or I'm going to, let's do this. Let's put the guitar in. Um, but I do believe that through working with the Reza Brothers I, my sound is slowly coming together um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what it ends up being but for me that has been the biggest struggle so far yeah Great. thank you for your time thank you, thank you. Thank you. Nice I know we kind of rambled you. on a yeah, little we bit we talk a lot <laughs> hey, 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 better for me right? <laughs> we talk a lot <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Let people know where they can follow you up both on social media. Yes. Yeah. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Tavita, T A V E E T A. On Twitter, it's at Tavita with an underscore at the end. Um, and those are my two main sites. So. Yeah, my two mains are Twitter and Instagram as well. On Instagram, it's just Shane Hart. So Shane and then Hart is spelled H A R T E. And then on Twitter, it's Shane twenty eight Hart. So that's basically where we anybody. Both have different Twitter ones. Yeah. Did we plan that. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. We didn't play that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Both. So nice let me, to meet let me you. get the handshake it's on so nice camera. To meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, man. it's Apollo P. Uh, Vibe One Hundred Five. Call this Apollo for the people, man. And we are out. Yeah. Bye.